Yasser Tabara is the spokesman for the main Syrian opposition coalition's prime minister in exile. Good to have you with us. Can you tell us, first of all, your reaction to those elements of the opposition, particularly the FSA, who say Shamhito has been imposed on them? Well, first of all, we need to lay the factual ground. Uh, Mr. Hassan Hito, since his election by the coalition, uh, has uh, been inside Syria at least three times, where he met with a number of uh, fighting factions and uh, the, the most important representatives, uh, basically, of, of the fighting battalions under the command of uh, the uh, ch chief uh, 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 of staff, General Salim Idris. And uh, all of these people uh, have uh, reiterated their support to him personally as the elected president of the interim government by the Syrian coalition and uh, their commitment to support his government uh, as it uh, gains its confidence from the coalition and goes through the process. In fact, the uh, Minister of Defense is going to be nominated by uh, these factions uh, and uh, basically approved by Mr. Hito and the coalition. So factually speaking, when we say that uh, some members of the, uh, the fighting opposition uh, aren't uh, in support of Mr. Hito, I think we need to be uh, to qualify that remark and uh, uh, you know face the reality that uh, uh, all the time in the opposition you will not have a 100% unified position. Okay, you may but not I have a 100% unified that, position, uh, again, but what, what so would be your message to a very important element of the opposition, that's the armed part, the FSA, what would your message back to them who aren't entirely sure of Hisham Hito? These are not the messages, the official messages of the S FSA. The official body that uh, is the umbrella of the fighting factions on the ground is the military council headed by General Salim Idris. And that joint chief of command is comp uh, comprised of a number of, of leaders of these battalions. And uh, the majority of these uh, uh, leaders have met with uh, uh, Mr. Hassan Hito and uh, have uh, expressed their full support to him. Again, these are the people that are going to uh, basically nominate the civilian minister of defense who is going to oversee the entire process and the and, and liaise between the coalition and the government and the fighting the fighters on the ground uh, one of the most important aspects of the visits of mr Hassan Hito and the leadership of the coalition to london and their meeting with uh, mr william Hague and mr Kerry is to express the direct and unequivocal ask that we need a their help with establishing a no fly zone that protects uh, the civilians and gives the leverage to those on the ground to actually tip the balance of power with the Assad regime uh, to stop this, the, the, the firing of the Scud missiles, to stop the firing of the MiGs uh, flying over densely populated areas, which are the last resource that have been used by, by, by the Assad regime. So I think the, the picture is not as bleak as, as it sounds. I think there has to be a, 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 a okay. setup of, of, of let, the factual Let me uh, Let issues. me jump in here if, if I could. I'm glad you raised the meeting in London. What is your expectation that will come out of that when you used euphemisms like the means and, and no fly zones? I, what exactly are you asking for? Are you asking for weapons and do you think you'll get it? This is the first meeting between the uh, president of the uh, interim government, Mr. Hassan Hito, and leaders uh, in the Western international community. And that the, the main point of that meeting is to demonstrate, uh, first of all, the, the, the unity and the cooperation that is taking place at the level between the coalition and the government that was produced by the coalition, democratically elected, uh, and to uh, start building the, the bridges and the important relationships to ask for the, uh, the specific asks, the specific forms of, of support. And what we have expressed unequivocally to Mr. Haig and, and others uh, that that we've met with uh, today and yesterday was the, the fact that we need them to empower, A, the fighters on the ground with the sophisticated weaponry to enforce an no-fly zone, uh, to uh, perhaps uh, uh, involve the, the, the Patriot missiles that are placed on uh, the, the, the southern Turkish border in order for uh, that to, to, to provide a cover to the interim government that is going to be operating from the Syrian soil uh, uh, that, that would provide the, the air cover from the, 
the Scud missiles and the, 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 the aircraft of the Assad regime, and to basically give the, the, the general much needed support to the, the, the uh, military council. Now we have an interim government that is in the making. Within the next few weeks, we will announce the number of ministries, the number of the leaders of these ministries. Uh, okay, very, point, very good, sir. Sorry, because we're running out of time here. If I could jump in again. That if will... you don't get that, would anything less than a promise to give you that sophisticated weaponry and the use of Patriot missiles, as you put it, anything less than that, would, would that be a letdown, the international community letting you down? We have uh, focused on the inside of Syria. We have focused on the ground from day one. Mr. Hito keeps saying from day one, as he uh, forms his, his government, his cabinet, one of the most important criteria for those who will work under him in the government uh, are their willingness to work from the ground, from inside Syria. That is gonna, going to be a government for the state of Syria from inside. So our focus, our entire uh, focus is towards working and, and uh, empowering those on the ground. Uh, we believe in, in the ability of, of the fighters on the ground to actually tip the balance of power. What we are hoping for is that the international community help us minimize the amount of casualties getting to the point of toppling the Assad regime. All right, we could go on with this for a while, but we'll have to leave it there for now. Thanks so much, Yasser Tabara.